so that for a proton neutron system sigma p dot sigma n is equal to minus 3 for a singular state and sigma p dot sigma n equal to 1 for a triplet state to understand the meaning of the term singlet and uh, triplet you should be familiar with the concept multiplicity factor multiplicity factor is given by the formula 2s plus 1 for a singlet the resultant spin s equal to 0 which means that both proton and the neutron are having anti-parallel spins if s equal to 0 the value of 2s plus 1 is equal to 1 you can get the singular state in the case of uh, triplet state both the nucleons are having parallel spin proton and uh, neutron are having parallel spin so the resultant spin s equal to 1 if you put s equal to 1 in this equation 2s plus 1 we can get uh, 3 in this way we may get the singlet and uh, triplet states then we should be familiar with the formula eigenvalue of s square is equal to s into s plus 1 h cross square here the capital S specifies operator the small s is a magnitude that is spin value number keeping h cross equal to 1 unit we can write the value of s square is equal to s into s plus 1 sp spin value of uh, the proton this is an operator given by the formula half h cross uh, sigma p this is Pauli spin matrix keeping h cross equal to 1 unit sp equal to 1 by 2 sigma p in the same manner the spin value of uh, neutron is given by the formula half sigma n the given problem we are expected to prove sigma p dot sigma n is equal to minus 3 and sigma p dot sigma n is equal to 1. Now we have to develop the solution. Here the resultant spin S equal to Sp plus Sn, spin of the proton plus spin of the neutron. Then the value of uh, S square is equal to S dot S, that is equal to Sp plus Sn dot sp plus sn is sp square plus sn square plus 2 times sp sn a plus b whole square formula a plus b into a plus b a plus b whole square that is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab that is equal to s square say this is equation number one in this equation here you have to put a dot you have to use our eigenvalue equation s square is equal to s into s plus one into h cross square h cross is one unit so s square is equal to s into s plus one See, this is sp square operator, this is sn square an operator, so that we have to write down the eigenvalue, sp into sp plus 1, plus instead of sn square, we have to write sn into sn plus 1, plus 2 into sp dot sn, which is equal to eigenvalue of s square is s into s plus 1. If this one as equation 2. Now the spin value of the proton is 1 by 2, spin value of the neutron is also 1 by 2. These are all the numbers sp, sn, but here sp, sn are operators. See that 1 by 2, 1 by 2 plus 1, plus 1 by 2. 1 by 2 plus 1 plus 2 into sp dot sn is equal to s into s plus 1 this is 3 by 4 plus 3 by 4 
plus 2 into sp dot sn equal to s into s plus 1. This is modified as 2 times 3 by 4 plus 2 times sp dot sn it is equal to s into s plus 1. Keep this one as equation A. Now you have to go for the singular state. For a singular state, the value of s equal to 1. The value of s equal to 0, not 1, for a singular state. If you put s equal to 0 in the above equation A, we can get 2 into 3 by 4 plus 2 into sp dot sn which is equal to 0. Say this is equation number 3. Therefore, 3 by 4 plus sp dot sn is equal to 0. All the terms are divided by 2. SP dot SN is equal to minus 3 by 4. Then you know the value of SP. SP equal to this is an operator 1 by 2 sigma P. The value of SN is 1 by 2 sigma N. That is equal to minus 3 by 4. 1 by 4 into sigma p dot sigma n which is equal to minus 3 by 4. Sigma p dot sigma n is equal to minus 3. This is for a singlet state. Now you should go to the triplet state. We have proved this. First result we have carried out. For a triplet state, the value of s equal to 1. Put the value of s equal to 1 in equation A. Equation A is 2 into 3 by 4 plus into sp dot sn which is equal to s into s plus 1. This is equation A. In this equation A put s equal to 1 because it is a triplet state. In the triplet state both the nucleons are having parallel spin. The resultant spin s equal to 1. 2 into 3 by 4 plus 2 into sp dot sn which is equal to 1 plus 1, 2, 2 into 1, 2, 2, this is 3 by 4 plus sp dot sn, which is equal to 1, say this is equation number 4, all the terms are divided by 2, you can get this equation 4, uh, yeah, this is 5, you can get equation 5. Divide all the terms of equation 4 by 2, we can get equation 5. Then sp dot sn is equal to 1 minus 3 by 4, which is equal to 1 by 4. Instead of sp, we have to put 1 by 2 sigma p. Then n sn, this is an operator, operator value is 1 by 2 sigma n, that is equal to 1 by 4. Now 1 by 4 into sigma p dot sigma n is equal to 1 by 4. Sigma p dot sigma n is equal to 1. For a triplet state, the value of sigma p dot uh, sigma n is equal to 1. Whereas for a Singular state, the value of sigma p dot sigma n is equal to minus 3. Hence, you have 
Rule this.